Welcome back to the, probably the last open water video of 2023. Uh, we're getting real close to ice fishing season. Water temps right now are almost in the 30s, probably a couple more weeks and this river that I'm on here will be frozen over. But today I wanted to focus on how to find some deeper, either vertical timber or just brush piles kind of on the edges of the river channel themselves. Um, this is going to work great for those that fish river systems up north preparing for ice fishing season, but also for those of you that fish the reservoir systems down south, a lot of these crappie are going to start stacking up on the same locations pretty much. These crappie are going to push to deeper water, and if you get lucky and you can find a piece of timber, odds are pretty good there's going to be a school of crappie on it. Right now I'm just kind of idling around that 20 to 25, 26 foot range. This is kind of where the edge, uh, the kind of the last part of the bank drops right into the main channel. Actually, if I just back up a little bit here and zoom in, this is kind of what I'm looking for. Any of these submerged logs that for whatever reason get stuck in a more of a vertical position, they're going to have fish on it right now this time of year. So I'm actually going to throw a waypoint on that thing because it looks like there are fish on it. I'm just trying to stay in that 20, 25, 26 foot range. Uh, you can see this is more of a softer bottom. On my far left, the bank starts coming up. You get these harder spots, which is more of a sand that kind of goes into this silt mud bottom. Here's a big school of bait fish that we're going over the top of right now on the right side of the screen. But for those of you that fish reservoir, for those of you that fish reservoir systems, you go into the feeder creeks. If you're focusing on kind of where the, the creek itself, the main creek channel, right on the edge of those creek channels, again, it, it varies from state to state and, and what kind of reservoir you're in, but typically it's like 20 to 30 feet of water most of the time. It can be a little bit shallower. Uh, if you're further south, you know, water temps don't get as cold. They can stay a little bit shallower, but uh, I'm focusing on just idling through with side view on my Garmin units and trying to find these vertical pieces of timber or these laydowns for these schooled up crappie. So as I idle down the shoreline, you can see how the, the bank really drops off really quick. And I'm probably within 100 feet of where that bank fully drops off and starts more going gradual into the main river channel. And I got my side imaging set to 70 feet left and right. So I'm covering pretty much the entire swath left and right of where these, these pieces of vertical timber should be at least. Um, and I'm just looking for anything that's a little bit vertical. Here's another piece that's somewhat vertical. But I don't think, so that's a log kind of sticking straight, straight up. You can see the shadow on the right side. I don't think I see any fish on it, but I'm going to mark it anyway. We can circle back to it. Try to go over with clear view or down view sonar. Real quick with side imaging settings, I'll just uh, contrast. I usually set it a little bit lower, typically in the colder water months. Uh, your water clears up so you don't have as much sediment in the water. You don't really need to run it that high. Brightness, I got it on auto low. Brightness is your sensitivity on your Garmin units. Frequency, I got it set to the Ultra HD setting, 1.07 megahertz. Um, cool feature on, on these Garmin units is the zoom function. You guys see me use it. Um, you can either tap the zoom and it'll pull up the box or you can just use it like you're on Google Maps and you kind of zoom in on your phone screen. That's, that's kind of what I use it for or that's how I use it. On the right side of my screen, there should be a log. Okay, there, there is a log on the left side here, but there doesn't look like there's much on it. There's maybe one fish on that, and it's more of a horizontal log. If you guys can see that, that log is laying on the bottom. I want something sticking up off the bottom. That way these crappie can suspend anywhere from, you know, one foot off the bottom to maybe 10, 15 feet off the bottom. That's kind of what you're looking for, that vertical piece of timber. And, oh, there it is. There we go. Here's one of them marked from a couple days ago. Huge piece of timber. You can see the shadow and the elongated shadow is the taller the object is. That's a big piece of timber sticking up and you can see there's fish right on the bottom of it. So I got that one marked already, but um, for those who don't know, on your Garmin units, you just click pause, put your crosshairs where you want it, top right corner of the screen. That'll add the waypoint. And there's another piece of timber right there. That's a big piece of timber. You can see there's fish stacked up all the way up that piece of timber. They're, they're probably, I don't know, more than halfway down that piece of timber, but there is a ton of fish there. And I already have a waypoint on that one as well. So I'm going to circle back and we're going to fish both those pieces of timber on that one. Oh, that one's loaded. Holy smokes. There we go. That's the tree we want. I'm going to circle back and fish that one. 
Look at that. It is loaded all the way up that tree. There's some big crappie too on that tree. You can see how tall that tree is and the cool thing is you can see the shadows of the crappie. Let me uh, pause the screen here and kind of go back. Zoom in. As I go down the shadow of the tree you can see all those shadows of crappie and probably some other fish in there. There's probably some some bass and and walleye and stuff but all right let's uh, put the troll motor down start vertical jigging. All right now I know some of you don't like the whole live scope thing that's fine. Um, I'm going to show you how to fish for these both with live scope and 2D sonar so just just give me a second I want to catch a few first put some in the live well because I I am going to cook some up for lunch today but holy smokes that tree is loaded that looks like a Christmas tree the crappie are the lights and we're going to be using the seven foot this is by far become my favorite rod that ACC makes seven foot one piece two things, two thousand size Viper X reel made by PC fun and then we're going with the double jig setup I got a 1 8 ounce ACC crappie sticks jig head on the bottom I got a 1 16th ounce jig head on the top and then the plastics are the crappie monster small fries I got chartreuse and I have chartreuse and pearl on the top and monster milk on the bottom oh, there he is there he is that's a big well that's a pretty good size white crappie for up north not a giant I'm gonna guess he's close to 11 throw him on the bump board here We got 11 and a half, 11 and a half inch fish right there. There's the 11. That's how you want to start the morning. He's going in the live well. He's going to fry up real good for lunch. And many people, you've probably all seen the double jig setup. I've been, I've filmed probably, I don't know, at least a couple dozen videos with it. It's just great little rig, especially in the fall, because some of these fish, if they're suspended, some of these fish, if they're suspended way up in the water column, they're just waiting for schools of bait fish to kind of roam by and that's kind of their ambush point sitting on these pieces of timber one's way down helps if you open the bale one's way down on that piece of timber closer to the bottom might be feeding on some insect larvae so you can kind of change up to a creature bait pattern to help get some of them to strike the one thing i do love about this late in the fall fishing there's not very many boats out there's definitely no uh Lug or what do they call leisure boats like ski boats wakeboarding boats and there's only a few fishing boats out so basically have the entire lake or river to yourself there he is thumped it top jig oh there's a black crappie it's another good good black crappie here definitely going to be a mixed bag on this tree that's probably another close to 11 inch fish. Got 11 right there. You gotta love fall crappie fishing. They're feeding up, getting heavy, putting some weight on. There he is. That's another good, good white crappie. I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna catch a few more off this tree and then go back to that other tree I found over there. Maybe we can get into a really big crappie. We'll see, this is the time of year. I mean, if you can get on the river in early spring, like late March, early April, you can catch some monsters. Um, but November, another great month. Another great month to catch some pretty nice crappie. Yeah, he's another, ooh, he's 11 and three quarter. There's 11, there's 12, 11 and 3 quarter. That's a nice fish. Another one for the live well. All right. I'm going to try to show you the 2D sonar. We'll see if I can stay on top of it. There's enough wind that's kind of pushing me back off it, but we'll give it a shot. Oh, there he is. Well, there's one on the 2D. It's not the most efficient way to catch them, but it is a way to catch them if you don't have some sort of forward-facing sonar. 
That's another one. He's, I mean, it's probably about a 10 inch fish. We'll put him on the bump board here. If he's 10, I'll keep him. There's no size limit on this river. Just a creel limit. And he is 10, 10 and a quarter. There's your 10 mark right there. About 10 and a quarter. Another one fry up for lunch. So far, I think all but one of these fish have come on that. The monster milk pattern. It's this guy right here. And uh, any type of natural presentation pattern, small fry, and uh, mimics these bait fish. And then that it's pretty much a bait fish pattern. Seems to do pretty well. This, this river really clears up as the water temperature starts to drop. I'll just show you right here. So here, there's the fish. There's the tree. If I go a little bit to the left, boom. Huge school of bait fish. So these bait fish are just kind of swimming around. These crappie are just kind of suspended on this timber, just waiting for these bait fish to come through. And you got a bait fish pattern. It's working. I might change up the top jig, see if we can get some more bites and maybe put two fish in the boat at one time. And for those of you that are looking for some, uh, maybe some holiday gift ideas or just a gift for yourself, 20% off the entire website, OTH Fishing, which is Crappie Monster, OTHFishing.com. Use promo code DAVIS, 20% off lure selections, and don't forget the net, of course, but this is what I'm using right here. Uh, Monster Milk, so I'm gonna go with another one of these. Monster Milk, Margarita works pretty well. Um, you know, Chartreuse and Pearl actually works pretty well in the summer, and then this fried apple works pretty well in the summer as well. But when these this water really clears up, it seems like the true natural bait fish color pattern works pretty dang well. So we're gonna change up the top jig. There he is, there's one. I think he hit the top jig. Or this is a nice fish. Oh, he spit up a ton of shad. This guy just spit up a ton of shad. I don't know if you can see that in the water right there. That's another nice white crappie. Another 11 and a half inch fish. Man, I love fall fishing. Look at that belly too. We're starting to fatten up. Another one for a frying pan. What do I got? I think I'm probably gonna keep one more. I got one, two, three. I got four, this number, wait, I got, yeah, I got four in there, five. I'm gonna keep one more. Number six, that'll be enough for lunch. And then we can just do some catch and release fun fishing. There's one. There we go. Ah, uh, you know what? Ooh, this feels like a decent fish too. Oh, he's just fighting hard. That's another good white crappie. So I hope the takeaway that you get from this is understanding, you know, one, using side view, side imaging, with uh, in combination of understanding that the river systems, these reservoir systems, if you can find any piece of vertical timber, uh, any brush pile kind of right on the edge of the, either the creek channel or the river channel, kind of where the bank starts leveling off a little bit, you're gonna find some really nice schools of crappie getting into uh, the later part of November and into December. Uh, for those of us up north, we're kind of prepping for ice fishing season. It's gonna be here in a couple weeks. So that's kind of where I'm, what I'm doing right now. These crappie are probably gonna be here through most of December into mid-January. So right now I'm just scouting for ice season. But uh, the double jig setup, great way to catch them this time of year. I will leave links in the video description for my entire rod and reel setup, the double jig setup, um, also, there's a lot of really good Black Friday deals going on. Today is November 19th, I think. So basically the start of the Black Friday sales week. Um, if you're interested in some Garmin units, maybe a live scope setup, now is the time to get into it. You get some really good deals. Uh, ACC Crappie Sticks, PC Fun, Crappie Monster. There's some discount codes in the video description. Check those out. But uh, be sure to use your side view as we get into the later part of November, into December. Find these pieces of brush and vertical timber. Have fun catching some crappie later into the fall and into December. Don't be afraid to get outside, even though it's cold. 
We'll see you in the next one.